Going all the way with us today. Kazakhstan taking on Hong Kong. The next match here at the Hong Kong Football Club. Asia Rugby 7 Series. League 1, Hong Kong. 2, Korea in a fortnight. League 3, Sri Lanka. Still plenty of quality sevens to come over the next six weeks. Natasha Olsen, Thorne and Baizan Kushibayeva lead their squads out. They both participated in thrilling semi-finals. Kazakhstan going down in the last moments to Japan. Hong Kong just pipped by China. And that'll be a repeat cup final of the Asian Games. A couple of weeks ago, Kazakhstan, well, caught a check in 12. She was huge against Japan. Speedster Chakchiova, she's on the bench this time. But it's just one of those hardworking squads where they all work well for each other. Same with Hong Kong. Tasha Olsen Thorne, the more she gets it, the more chance they have. Look out also for Melody Lee in number three. One of the big improvers that we've noticed over the series. And the battle for third and fourth is on here, folks. Kazakhstan, they've really brought a new style of rugby to this tournament. Not content with just bashing down the middle. They've seen they've got power out wide. And here they go, winning it back from the kickoff. Kushibayeva out now to Numatova. And that's good support on the inside. Stepan Yuga, number one. Kushibayeva, the skipper there. Across Karina. Here goes Kotacek. She's going to take on Chan. Good tackle from Chan. Good tackle indeed. She's a danger mouse over there. Look at this front foot ball. They're really attacking, aren't they? Hong Kong defending with their lives here. Numatova, Proskarina, Stepayuga. Here she's got a check. She's on this side now. Puts the fend in on Olsen Thorne. She manhandles over the sideline. Wow. An all dancing first opening minute here. Outstanding shape and defense by Hong Kong. But what? Well, just an irrepressible attack from Kazakhstan. Key for Hong Kong here will be tempo. If they can keep the tempo high, I don't suspect Kazakhstan can go with them. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of this. Hong Kong ball in hand. Hong Kong bravely trying to battle that one out from under their posts. And they get awarded the penalty. Some relief. Josfold just goes for safety, not too much distance. Puts it on the roof over there. And he takes out a jogger on the track. The Hong Kong chant goes out as Poon sails high in the air from Nam's throw. Nam doubles round, she's receiver. Olsen Thorne. Here goes John. Gets on the outside, John to the end. Crowd. Skips out of one, beats Kotacek. What a battle those two are going to have. Good hands from Hong Kong required here. They've got to stretch them out wide. Here's Poon, she stayed over there from the line out. Ducks into one from Terry Ayeva. And there we have another penalty not rolling away and they just go quickly, trying to put the pressure on these Kazakhstanis. Coming out of the line there was Kuchinikova. Trying to head them off at the pass, and this time holding on. And the tackle was Nam. Halfway through this. First half, no tries yet. 
Bushy Boyeva takes it into the Hong Kong half. And it's passed behind Terry Ever somehow gets away with that. We've seen those pull forward all day. This is a bit of a slugfest at the moment. Here goes Terry Ever. Poon misses the tackle. A crucial miss. And Josfold won't be able to head her off. This campaigner, Oliesia Terry Ever, breaks the deadlock. Pulsating opening first half of this first half. Conversion is good. So here we go. Look at the missed tackle. It was Chong first going low, and then it was Poon secondly. So that's a great run from Terry Ever. Look at it go. 7 0. Two and a half remaining. Hong Kong have to fight back now. They want this third spot. Melody Lee pings it across to Chan Chi Ching. Here's Pink looking to make up for that error. Bushy Boy Ever, the skipper, wraps her up. Tackling's been great this weekend from the Kazakhstanis. Now it's all a bit awkward. Oh, the legs are tired. The bodies are tight. That smoothness and that fluidity that was present oh, no more than 36 hours ago. Today, right now, in these minutes, it's all a bit of a struggle. It's defensive scrum to Hong Kong. It's all a bit argy bargy before the ball goes in. Both sides trying to get the upper hand. Referee trying to make sense of it all. Who's doing what? Poon gets it away though. Chong. He's got some gas. Get on the outside. Olsen Thorne takes on Kodacek. Gets the big fin right up in her chops. Drags her across the sideline. It's a penalty though. Chong goes quickly. Takes advantage of that 10 metre gap. Hong Kong now surging down the field. Olsen Thorne. The skipper gets to the 22. Oh, oh look at going in and swooping on that one. A few penalties in a row now. The defensive effort from Kazakhstan losing its shape a little bit. Forced into errors. How about that pick and go there? This is what I mean by tempo. Hong Kong, that's where they can really put the pressure on Kazakhstan. Last minute rally in the first half by Hong Kong. May not yield any points, but it's going to take some bark off the tree. Poon gets on the outside of Proskarina. Chong into her skipper. Yeah, good defence there from Nermatova. Getting over the top of Olsen Thorne and a crucial opportunity. It's gone begging there for Hong Kong right on half time. They can't be bothered going all the way down the field. So out she goes. It's a tight one here. 7-0. Kazakhstan lead Hong Kong at half time in this third and fourth playoff match. I think Hong Kong have done well to hold them to seven. Certainly been able to break the line. Hello, Hong Kong. Follow us on Facebook, Asia.Rugby. No smoking, by the way. 
And a Japanese fan in front there. He's waiting for his side to come out. Asia Rugby live on Instagram. And on Twitter, our handle is at Asia Rugby. Get on there now, why don't you? And let us know who your MVP for this tournament is. For men and women, win a chocolate bar. We'll invite the winner into the commentary box in Colombo. Flight's not included. There's some little Hong Kongites getting into it at a young age. That's what it's all about. Big second half here for Hong Kong. They need some possession. They need to move this bigger Kazakhstan side around the park a bit more. In front of the kicker, yeah. That's just criminal, really. Kevin West would be grunting on the sideline. Karina on the looper. Oh, look at the line from Numatova. Great tackle. Good tackle. How from much Burns. courage did that show? Very brave, Proscarina. Another great tackle from Hong Kong. Eva. Numatova takes it back on the return. And look at Kotacek. She's going to go in the sheet. She's not going to be stopped from there, surely. Yep. She goes in for. Kazakhstan's second try, too big, too strong from that distance. Fifth try in the tournament. She's right up there. Well, what a strong runner, but goodness gracious me, Hong Kong. Remarkable. Absolutely no consideration for the body. Good conversion. So Kotacek's up there with five tries as we look at this replay. It was well worked from the free kick on halfway. Look at this. <laughs> Lee's <Lease. laughs> a bit of wakeboarding behind her Good there. Heavens above. So five tries for Kotacek. She's up there with Olsen Thorne Nakamura, but it's Honoka Susumi who stands out on six. She'll be in action. A little after this. Cup final. 14 0 now. Nine minutes ticking over. Five minutes to go in this match. Hong Kong haven't had any real opportunities yet. Put that down to some hard working Kazakhstan defence. They look fitter than in previous years. Pretty sure they're not full time professionals. Scrum on the 15, on their 22, long way to go. Poon barking out some orders. Very yappy scrum half, as you'd expect. Coming off her wing, Stephanie Chan. Here's Aggie Poon, there's a move on. Yep, Stephanie Chan on the double oh. and she's left that too late and gets clattered. Absolutely clattered oh. by Kai, and she gets bumped on the way around again by Kotacek. Here come Hong Kong, though. No. Advantage being played. This is Chan. Oh, she gets bullied in a good covering tackle. Two defenders. We're not going to go back to that fully upright tackle by Kotacek. Let's have a look at that hit again. Leaves it too late. Oh, and, oh yeah, she ends up getting the bicep in the face, but that's because she's so much taller. Seguru, he's okay with that. I think that was the right call. It's 
see the enthusiasm of the defense there. Two tacklers getting across there to take out Chan. Working hard for each other. On comes Yun Lok Lee. Lok Yi, sorry. Well, three and a half minutes left in the game. Hong Kong's still not out of it. They've got the ability to cover the ground. But they've got to be able to breach that gain line somehow. Is that, um, is that Poon? No, it's Chan, Stephanie Chan. Yeah, she got, she oh. got that big tackle from Korczyk and as she was getting to her feet, Korczyk ran past and I think clipped her with her hip accidentally. So she took two heavy blows. Got her again. Yep. This could be, oh, I was just said before, how there were no stretches or HIAs so far this weekend. And this could be the first one. A lot of care being shown around the neck. Let's have a look at it once more. You make the decision, folks at home. There's a big hit going on in the crowd. Here we go. This is the one here. Oof, yeah, just what a head clash. What do you think, Jed? All legit. Play on. That would be the key. Look, I, I know they try to minimise injury as much as possible, but it is a contact sport. And it can be a rough old game. I'm pretty sure the Hong Kong player will be just fine. They've got an outstanding medical team. At all the tournaments in Hong Kong. It's a point of pride for the local union. They like to take care of their athletes and they like to be seen taking care of the athletes. And physio Jesper Wong down in front of us, just giving her the once over, looking into her eyes. She is not in good shape, but she's up and about. So big chair there from the crowd thought there might have been a pitch invasion of some sort Olsen Thorne retakes the field 40-0 though trail got to get Aggie Poon into the game here with a wide pass give us some space on the wraparound trying to work it there she goes but no real space to work with she's Kazakhstanis know what she's all about but I think they might be better off using Aggie Poon coming off a midfield set. Here's Nam. They try it again. Nam throws out a wobbly one. Hang on. Yellow. Oh, this time Kotacek gets the high tackle. So maybe she was on Suguru's radar for sure. So now they've got a couple of minutes. Get one back. And they seem to be finding something down this side. Namka man, good swerve. Very good in our swerve. She's not blessed with blistering speed, but she made the most of it there, did Nam. Looks like she's hurt her knee as well. There's Jesper Wong into the action again. Well, they're hurting. They're all hurting. Fly spray there. Keep the pests off. Vermin. Just under two minutes remaining. Hong Kong, well, they really haven't looked like scoring at all. And the two players that are most likely, they're out there. Olsen Thorne and Boone lay in wait. Goes Nam, look at the knee. Oh yeah, bit of a buck. Oh yeah, twice actually. Folded inwards. Yep, that's not good for her or Hong Kong. She limps to the side. Could be a couple of weeks off. I'll tell you what, Hong Kong number seven. She's a fiery operator. She 
is fired up. There she goes with the feed. She wants something to happen. Yun Lok Yi. Oh, no. Fatigue. Lack of concentration, maybe. Whatever. It's a shame. That could be the ball game, actually. They had to score off that bit of position. Kazakhstan. It'd be great to see them make a cup final in this series. This came oh so close, nearly beating Japan in the semi final. Kushi Bayeva, stolen. Chan picks it up. Chan sets off downfield. Well, if they do score here, take a quick conversion, it could be still on. Oh, that's not going to do it, is it? Great hands from Boone. Oh, weird, she's a competitor. Yeah, but the impetus is lost. Just reaching back for that ball. It's a penalty, and it sucked up some more time. That had to be in front. She's furious. <laughs> she wants to take the quick to him. She is a competitor. So with nothing to play for, but a little bit of pride here. Poon looks injured actually, number seven here. She is on the wraparound. She's carrying a limp now. Here goes Aggie Poon. They found some space for her finally. And she goes over in the corner. And that's all that had to happen earlier on. And she dots down Maggie Poon, third try in the weekend. That's all it takes, really, is just getting the ball to Poon a little bit earlier. Well, she still looks a few yards short of her best pace, Aggie Poon, and you can tell by the way that she went for the try line. Oh, she's, what a shot. Yeah, she's playing with injury. Tough customer though, the guy works press. One of the genuine stars of Hong Kong women's rugby. And that's the final appearance for Hong Kong in this tournament. Congratulations, however. Must go to the ladies on screen. Kazakhstan. Triumphant over Hong Kong, 14-5 final score. Will we see Kazakhstan in a cup final? That's what I'd like to know. That's going to be